next week's episode. Hi, my name is Osas. Encourage you that you're doing good. Please let people come now. It's draining. They are just sometimes. I'm like, ah, uh, like I'm done. I'm. If you don't do it, nobody else will do it. They are pinching me. Say yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Now. In me, in my heart, I say, is that it? Uh, you too can be a limiting factor. Like please, uh, please, who is helping me to buy? Yeah, now then they carry this internet for us so something what's the matter like the give me so is it deliverance you want us to go for you if you see the way they told me to mad woman hi my name is osas i'm a student of university of ilorin and i'm an entrepreneur i'm a business woman i'm someone who likes to look for the business aspect of things everywhere i started business as far back as when i was in ss1 and that's nothing less than five years and if you're not new on this channel you know that i have been running my mom's business for a while so with all these years, with all these experience, I have gathered together and come up with mistakes that have made startup fail. So, you want to know the mistakes to avoid if you are looking forward to starting a business as a student, you want to keep watching. The number one mistake I'll tell you to avoid is don't overthink it. Guys, don't overthink starting that your business. An ugly baby is better than no baby. Because I mean it's better eventually if you start and you fail, you know that at least you try to one of my friends we have been discussing over the months of how she wants to start her business how she needed a business card how to package how to advertise how to do this like i'm mean, like girl just start but guys thank god i give her the glory she has started her business and business is going forth without even having a business card or something. so with whatever you have just start this youtube i'm talking about is another business my dear i have like over 42 videos on my channel and to be honest when i started i didn't have these 40 videos figured out but to be honest i'm not even i have a, wait first you guys wait first i'm not even told you guys we have with 500 subscribers mm -hmm. We have 500 subscribers and to be honest i'm just grateful that i started because when i started i had questions in my heart like oh i don't have this i don't have that i don't have this i don't have that but guys oh this how many months gone how many years gone a year gone and i don't have it all figured out what i'll say is that just start. you guys some people are all obsessed about starting big or when i start i want it to be this big i want it to be no matter how little you are starting guys just start. so just start guys it's not about the idea it's about making this idea come to life no matter how vague you think it is just start how to start big and ugly baby is better than no baby guys the next thing i'll tell you is think long term i remember when right before the lockdown there was a guy who sold type for one five and then he was doing his sales and he was like oh that is 800 naira i'm like oh yeah 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 i can buy this if i buy this type now mass now i'll be getting up to at least 500 naira again and i'm like oh i'm going to this and guys hmm, when i paid for this thing and um, long now i started i had to pay another extra money for way being ladies and gentlemen some of these styles are in my house so you have to think long term is this a business that i can do for the next three years two years is it a business that i can actually continue with and somebody like me now time it's because i saw opportunity i didn't think long term okay now i want to start my fashion business and i'm thinking of okay if i want to start anywhere when i get to school who's going to do it for me like you have to think long term that's another thing that makes business feel what's your long term plan you what's going to happen in the long run i remember when i was in primary school my primary school teacher like she knew how to make beads so like some of us in the class just kind of cut the flair we liked making it so i used to make beads when i was in primary school nobody wears beads again guys nobody except all these people when they are doing like traditional wedding and things blah 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 nobody wears beads again and it's so painful because oh my god i put so my effort inside that thing nobody wears beads so you have to think long term if you want to start a business think of going into something like fashion into food into beauty like these things for the next 10 years, people keep wearing clothes. For the, ne for the next 10 years, people keep on eating. Clothes. So you have to think of long term. Then like sometimes when I look at something, I'm like, ah, this thing, it's not last. I'm not the next thing I'll tell you to do is check on the market demand. That environment where you are, do you think what you want to offer is a market demand? Just say, for example, now me, I was just, we're talking about business, and I was like, oh, what if I carry lace to school? Like the lace. Please, that they used to go and do where you are going to carry to school to sell. Please, who is helping me to buy? Nobody is buying this in school. Oh, sorry for you. It's just a very, very wrong business. So, if you want to start a business in school, you have to do something that, like, is peculiar to students in school. So, you see, chuk eye people everywhere. So, what? You have to buy fine, fine things 
that when they look they will have to come back a second time so you have to look market demand and just know that your, your roommate approval is not market demand i was telling my dad oh daddy i want to start saying this and I'm like, oh yes that's very nice that's good good but the fact that my father says yes it's nice does not mean that that is what we sell in that place don't get me wrong okay so you also have to think about what we sell in this environment you know, you just like you saying somebody is selling alcohol you not come inside church uh, excuse me sir is it deliverance you want us to go for you so like you just have to think market demand what's happening what are people requesting for what do people want like now okay now if you're somebody that's into beauty and lifestyle it's like a perfect something because beauty and lifestyle yeah now then they carry this internet the next thing i'll tell you is to choose the right platform i remember when i was in ss1 the first business i started doing was ankara book like i learned how to make ankara book during one of my i think my junior school holidays and then i came when i was in second i used to make them and take to school you also have to choose the right platform guys guys let me tell you something in my secondary school we're not allowed to hold money so it means that when i'm selling my book to somebody i have to wait for this day or when we are going home to collect my money you people hey if you see the way they saw me tomorrow man, on top of this this yeah. ah you will see me with you see me pulling them oh yeah guys okay, half an hour but that was like exactly like a wrong platform so that's why now but then i mean like markets was moving it was like a very good business but then something that was very stressful choose the right platform if you want to do instagram and you know that something that will move on instagram good and fine pay the price be consistent create content good and fine if you want to choose facebook if you want to use your whatsapp status that's it if you want to blog if you want to do it on youtube if you want to do affiliate link you have to choose the right platform word of mouth there's also word of mouth first let me tell you something word of mouth is like the social media blogging write-ups just choose the right platform guys that's another important thing because Ah, but now thinking about it, also has gone so far. Uh, if you are one of my customers for my Ankara book, you can just comment down below. The next thing I'll tell you is that you have to put enough effort. Hey, ah, you have to put enough effort. If you see where I'm telling somebody, hi, my name is Osas, I have a YouTube channel. Please guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll be like, what's wrong with this girl? But guys, no reason now more because some people are going to be like, what's wrong with you? Like. It's not that deep, but in me, in my heart, I say it's that deep, sir. My business, sir. It's that deep. So, like, you have to put enough effort. So, like, you have to be ready to carry your, your business on your head. Anyway, you're going to hear that. Hi, I'm this person. I sell this. Can you, like, follow my social media page? Can I get your number? Save your number? Like, you have to go for it, guys. You have to put enough effort. You have to put in the work. If you don't do it, nobody else should do it, guys. That's just, that's just the truth about it. Be ready anywhere you're going to be dishing out. <laughs> Hi, my name is Osas. I sell this. Please, can, can you follow my YouTube page? Can you follow my Instagram page? Put in the necessary effort. And to be honest, that's why most times people advise them not to do business while in school because if you are actually putting the right energies, actually going to be very draining. Not to think of having to follow people that are on you. That if you hold the credit system but it's not advice you guys but that if you have to like you have to shamelessly tell them like you have to be shameless about it guys even up to now there are still some time when i get to some kind of environment they are pinching me say yeah i have a youtube channel and i'm like no i'm shy i'm shy ah uh, you have to put in the effort before me even saying yourself i'm already trained <laughs> i'm already tired but you have to put in the effort guys I Putting in the efforts could also be in words of mouth. Putting in the efforts could be consistency. I mean, you're constantly pushing out yourself there. You too can be a limiting factor to your business. You can be a limiting factor to your business. When I mean you too can be a limiting factor of your business. Guys, to be very honest, business is draining. Hey, God. Business is draining. You can you can keep posting on your WhatsApp status for like months and nobody is replying you. But you guys, you have to... Focus on yourself. Don't let yourself be a restriction. You know, Sam King was saying that he doesn't focus on like the number of followers. He focused on the number of posts because the number of posts is what he can control, and the number of followers is not what he can control. So this is the number people notice first when they come on your bio. This is the number I am obsessed with because this number outside of my control this is the number that is within my control i can show up every day and increase this number and the more i increase this number the higher the chances that this number increases right you have to remove your mind from it you know one thing about business is that first of all people want to be sure that you are going to be in their faces for a long time okay now let me just take it for example now recently i've been having need to use like a pos machine and one thing i am always very concerned about is like ah if i use this pos guy 
is this somebody that if i come out tomorrow i'll meet this purest guy here because i just didn't purely because i pierced the one like one of the complicated things i'm thinking if i'm to use this purest guy if i come tomorrow if something should go wrong can i come back to this spot and meet him so sometimes people just want to see that you are consistent that's why they are not fooling i just want to use this to encourage somebody today that if you are not getting the right energy if you are putting in content if you are like posting out something i'm also talking to myself guys if you are also like you are posting your brand you are pushing your brand you are pushing your brand out there and nobody is coming i just want to encourage you that you are doing good like you are doing great just keep on keep on doing the one that is in your control keep on pushing out yourself keep on guys you you soon break out there's always a breaking out point when i say yourself as your limiting factor do not put your emotions in it try as much as possible not to be emotional about your business because sometimes guys it's draining there are just sometimes i'm like ah like i'm not even doing it to be gay like i'm done i'm tired don't try to be emotionally attached to your business also try as much as possible that okay put your mind in a state where you're like okay if some people come and patronize me good and fine if people don't Good and fine. You have to put your mind, even though you really want profit, child. That's the whole aim of of business. Even don't put your mind that oh, please let people come now. Oh, let people come now. Don't put your mind, guys. It will happen. It will happen. So don't don't be emotionally attached. Don't put your don't attach your feelings to your business. Oh, I'll be happy when I have customer. I'll be happy when I make sales. But no, it doesn't work like that. Mm, it Another thing I'll just tell you is the God factor. Just keep on praying to God. God, please help me. Like, God, please help me. God, please help me. Please, please, please. All right, guys. Welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're a business person, drop up mistakes you have made in the comment section so that somebody can learn. And if you're somebody who wants to start business and you're just scared of starting business, drop your fears in the comment section. Let me the comment section interactive. And I'll see you guys once again. I'm your beautiful host. Okay. Start to be very beautiful this and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah.